we're now in full production of Blackwell. Uh, computer companies all over the world are ramping these incredible machines at scale. And uh, I, uh, I'm just so, so uh, pleased and, and so grateful that all of you worked hard on uh, transitioning into this new architecture. And now, uh, in the second half of this year, we'll uh, easily transition into the upgrade. So we have the Blackwell Ultra, MVLink 72. Uh, you know, it's a one and a half times more flaps. It's, you know, it's got a, a new instruction for attention. It's one and a half times more memory. All that memory is useful for uh, things like KV cache. It's, you know, two times more bandwidth, okay, for networking bandwidth. And so you're going to, now that we have the same architecture, we'll just kind of gracefully uh, glide into that. And uh, that's called Blackwell Ultra, okay? So that's coming second half of this year. We're building AI factories and AI infrastructure. It's going to take years of planning. This isn't, this isn't like buying a laptop. You know, this isn't, a, this isn't discretionary spend. This is spend that we have to go plan on. And so we have to plan on having, of course, the land and the power, and, and we have to get, get to our, our CapEx ready, and we get engineering teams, and, and we have to lay it out a couple, two, three years in advance, which is the reason why I show you our roadmap a couple, two, three years in advance, so that you're, we don't surprise you in May. You know, hi, you know, in another month, we're going to go to this incredible new system, and I'll show you an example in a second. And so we plan this out in multiple years. The next, the next click, one year out, is named after an astronomer, and her, uh, her grandkids are here. Her name is Vera Rubin. She discovered dark matter. Okay, so, yep. <clears throat> Vera, Vera Rubin is incredible because the CPU is new. It's twice the performance of Grace and more memory, more bandwidth, and yet just a little tiny 50 watt CPU is really quite incredible. Okay? And Rubin, brand new GPU, CX9, brand new networking smart NIC, NVLink 6, brand new NVLink, brand new memories, HBM4. Basically, everything is brand new except for the chassis. And this way, we could take a whole lot of risk in one direction and not risk a whole bunch of other things uh, related to the infrastructure. And so Vera Rubin, NVLink 144, is the second half of next year. Okay, how do we scale up? Well, we introduced, we were pre pre preparing to scale out. That will scale up as NVLink. Our scale out network is InfiniBand and Spectrum X. Most were quite surprised that we came into the Ethernet world. And the reason why we decided to do Ethernet is if we could help Ethernet become like InfiniBand, have the qualities of InfiniBand, then the network itself would be a lot easier for everybody to use and manage. And so we uh, decided to invest in Spectrum. We call it Spectrum X. And we brought to it the properties of, of uh, congestion control and, and um, uh, very low latency. and. Uh, and a mountain of software that's part of our computing fabric. And as a result, we made Spectrum X incredibly high performant. Uh, we scaled up the largest single GPU cluster ever as one giant cluster with Spectrum X, right? And that was Colossus. And so there are many other examples of it. Spectrum X is, is unquestionably a huge home run for us. One of the areas that I'm very excited about its largest enterprise networking company to take Spectrum X and integrate it into their product line so that they could help the world's enterprises become AI companies. Okay, so first of all, we're announcing NVIDIA's first co-packaged option, Silicon Photonic System. It is the world's first 1.6 terabit per second CPO. We're going to, it is based on a technology called micro ring resonator modulator. And it is completely built with this incredible process technology at TSMC that we've been working with for some time. And, and we partnered with just a giant ecosystem of technology providers to invent what I'm about to show you. This is really crazy technology. Crazy, crazy technology. We invented the world's first. MRM micro mirror, and this is what it looks like. There's a little uh, waveguide. You see that on that waveguide goes to a ring. That ring resonates, and it controls the amount of reflectivity of the waveguide 
as it goes around and limits and modulates the uh, energy, the, the amount of light that goes through. And it shuts it off by absorbing it or pass it on. Okay, it turns the light, this direct continuous laser beam into ones and zeros. And that's the miracle. And that technology is then, uh, that photonic IC is stacked with the electronic IC, which is then stacked with a whole bunch of micro lenses, which is stacked with this thing called fiber array. These things are all manufactured using this technology at TSMC called, C C they call it Coop, and um, packaged using a 3D coos technology, working with all of these technology providers, a whole bunch of them, the, the names I just showed you earlier, and it turns it into this incredible machine. Just a technology marvel. And they turn into these switches, our InfiniBand switch, the silicon is, is uh, working fantastically. Second half of this year, we will ship the, the uh, silicon photonic switch uh, in the second half of this year. In the second half of next year, we'll ship the Spectrum X. Because of the MRM choice, because of the incredible technology risks that over the last five years that we did, and filed hundreds of patents, and we've licensed it to our partners so that we can all build them, now we're in a position to put silicon photonics with co-package options, no transceivers, fiber, direct fiber in into our switches with a radix of 512. This is the, this is the 512 ports. This would just simply not be possible any other way. And so this, is, this now set, our, set us up to be able to scale up to these multi hundred thousand GPUs and multi million GPUs. And the benefit, just so you, 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 you imagine this, it's incredible. In a data center, we could, we could save tens of megawatts, tens of megawatts. All right, so this is our roadmap once a year, once a year, an architecture every, every uh, two years, a new product line every single year, X factors up, and we try to take silicon risk or networking risk or system chassis risk um, in, in pieces so that we can move the industry forward as we pursue these incredible technology. Uh, Vera Rubin, and uh, I really appreciate the, the, uh, the grandkids for being here. Uh, this is our opportunity to recognize her and, and to honor her for the incredible work that she did. Our next generation will be named after Feynman. Tell me that wasn't amazing. Hey, Blue. How are you doing? How do you like, how do you like your new physics engine? You like it, huh? Yeah, I bet. I know. Tactile feedback, rigid body, soft body simulation, super real time. Can you imagine just now what you were looking at is com complete real time simulation? This is how we're going to train robots in the future. Uh, just so you know, Blue has uh, two computers, two NVIDIA computers inside. Look how smart you are. Yes, you're smart. Okay. All right. Hey, Blue, listen. How about let's take them home? Let's finish this keynote. It's lunchtime. Are you ready? Let's finish it up. We have another announcement. To <laughs> you're good. You're good. Just stand right here. Stand right here. Stand right here. All right, good. Right there. That's good. All right, Stan. Okay. We have another amazing news. I told you the progress of our robotics has been making enormous progress. And today we're announcing that Groot N1 is open sourced. I want to thank all of you to come to, to get, <laughs> Let's wrap up. I want to thank all of you for coming to GTC. We talked about several things. One, Blackwell is in full production. And the ramp is incredible. 
customer demand is incredible, and for good reason, because there's an inflection point in AI, the amount of computation we have to do in AI is so much greater as a result of reasoning AI and the training of reasoning AI systems and agent agentic systems. Second, Blackwell NVLink 72 with Dynamo is 40 times the performance, AI factory performance of Hopper. And inference is going to be one of the most important workloads in the next decade as we scale out AI. Third, we have annual, annual rhythm of roadmaps that has been laid out for you so that you could plan your AI infrastructure. And then we have two, we have three AI infrastructures we're building. AI infrastructure for the cloud, AI infrastructure for enterprise, and AI infrastructure for robots.